Hello everyone, Tech Enthusiast here and today I will show you how you can make your desktop go from this to this in just 5 minutes. So without any further ado, get subscribed, leave a like down below and let's get started. So if your desktop looks like this, one thing you can actually do to make it a whole lot cleaner is to right click, then make sure that you go under the view tab and uncheck show desktop icons. With that said, make sure that you go to this website which I will also put a link in video description down below you can get this wallpaper right away and then you will need to go to the downloads folder right click on this image and then set as desktop background after that you should see a brand new image on your desktop and with that said let's change the cursor as well i will also put this link in video description down below so make sure that you download this cursor pack from this website by clicking on this free download button and of course you will need to be registered on deviant art if you want to do so after after that let's go to the downloads folder and here right click on this zip file click on the extract and then extract once again to get the files after that let's go to the cursors and preview folder vs cursor 13.0 on the install.in file, you will right click and then make sure that you select install to install the cursor pack. After that, we will need to change it. So you will need to go to the start menu, go to the search, search for the mouse, click on change the mouse pointer display or speed. After that, let's go to the pointers and here make sure that you select the VS Cursor 13.0. Click on apply, click OK and you should have brand new cursor. And now let's install a few of the Rainmeter widgets. But before that, make sure that you have the Rainmeter actually installed and up and running. After that, let's open this website and make sure that you click on the .rm skin file to get the skin file for the Rainmeter. After that, click on it and install this widget. After the installation of the skin, you should see the screen which looks something like this. Then you will need to go to the library and first we will install the first widget but basically the installation of the widgets are all the same so make sure that you click on this green download arrow and after that you should repeat the same process of installation for the next two widgets one is called modular clocks and the other one is called modular players after the installation of all three widgets, you should see all of them three bolded with the white color. Here, click on it and on the top left, you should select it to the activated mode. And after that, let's go to the general. Here, scroll down and select the last option. Here, I will go to the style options. Here, I will also scroll down and select the fill color to something else. Here, I just extracted the wallpaper colors from my wallpaper and here I will just copy this RGB decimal. Here I will go to the Raymeter options, fill color and just paste this in, press enter and then the widget color should change. I will go back to the style options. Here I will make sure that the size is 1.25, press enter and the widget should be a lot bigger right now. Here I will place it somewhere here and you should be good with the first widget. After that, click on the home option. Let's go to the library and select the modular players. Here, you will need to once again activate the widget itself. Here, let's go to the general, select this widget, which is called Windows 11. And here, make sure that you go to the style options. I will select here blur variant to the standard and also the rounding to the standard as well. For the background color, I will select the same one. So make sure that you paste this color inside, press enter and the color of the widget should change as well. Let's go to the style options as well and make sure that you select the widget scale to 0.75. Then press enter and make sure that you place it somewhere at the bottom from the clock widget. Here, make sure that you also enable modular visualizer like so. Then you will need to go to the general and make sure that you change a few of the parameters like I have them here. You can also pause the video and also copy all the settings. After that, you will need to go to the appearance tab and make sure that you have number of colors in gradient set to two. And here you can also pause the video and copy all these values. And also for this one. After that, you will need to go to the render options. First, you will need to apply the first setting like so and make sure also that you enable the option called flip vertically and after that this should be pretty much it this has been tech enthusiast video if you enjoyed it like and subscribe to the channel would really mean a lot to me and make sure that you check the links for the required files in the video description have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see you all in the next one peace